Hi Pisces, this is Aqua Goddess coming to give you all your quick general daily reading. Keep in mind that this reading will be for past, present, future and it may or may not resonate with you. If you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, you want to see me use any specific card decks, donate to the channel, or purchase any manifestation jewelry, the information will be in the description box below. Please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel to help our family grow and also to get your notifications for your future readings. I've already prayed and meditated over your energy Pisces, so we're just going to go ahead and tap right in. Spirit, angels, ancestors, guides, please protect me while channeling the messages for the sign of Pisces. Sun, moon, Venus, rising north note. Please return all negative energy back to sender, 20 million. And anybody out there showing me love, much love and light to you. Angel number 114. Spirit, what are the messages for Pisces? Spirit is saying that you need to take care of your needs. So a lot of you all could be nurturers where you take care of a lot of people, your children, your family, people you work with, friends. Spirit is telling you to take more time for yourself and take care of your own needs. I'm also picking up the energy that if you are connected with someone at this time you could feel like this person is not taking care of you you could feel like you've been explaining your needs your wants your feelings and they may not be taken into consideration I'm picking up the energy of an in-between energy maybe back and forth arguing or disagreeing or whatever the case may be Spirit is also having me to communicate with you, to love and to let yourself be loved, which means that you don't have to save everybody. Spirit is telling me here, because you have the fire guardian, that you need to ignite your passions. So if you're not already currently doing something that you're passionate about, Spirit is definitely telling me that you need to. This is going to create a lot of financial abundance, stability, mental relief, stress relief. And you're going to be able to offer the world your beautiful gifts. Angel number 333. So you may just need some time to yourself to strategy, you know, strategically have a sacred plan here. You're pulling your own energy here with the high priestess card. This black cat has definitely given me a lot of independent energy. So even if you are in a connection, it's a good time to at least get some space for yourself. There's something that spirit wants you to tap into, a creative thing, a passion of yours. <clears throat> spirit is asking you to harness your mystic power. So I know that a lot of you all are just tapped in intuitively. Spirit wants you to embrace that part of yourself, the high priestess within you. Spirit is wanting you to cut the cords. Some of you all could be dealing with Aries or Sagittarius. It's like you do have to make the decisions 
to let go of anybody who's resisting change. If things are not going well or if there's a misunderstanding, if there's constant fighting and arguing, no harmony, no resolution. Spirit is wanting you to let go of any any resistance to change, anyone resisting change when it comes to anything toxic. And they want you to spend your time focusing on things that will actually grow. Like your passions, your your power. Spirit is saying that you cannot see your seeds grow if you do not shed old skin. Spirit is asking that you surround yourself with positive protective energy. And I hear an alarm going off outside here. Embrace the energy of peace. This could be for you or the person you're dealing with or both. Take it how it resonates if this is your story. I'm seeing that someone has a disconnect when it comes to their emotions. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. And it's because this person refuses to do the inner work. I've been getting so much energy like that today. This person is refusing to surround themselves with energy that is safe, that is high vibrational. So they are unable to change. They're unable to release the wild within them. You need to release the wild within you to harness your mystic power, to be at your highest elevation. Okay. What else, Spirit? Yes, Spirit is telling me that you all would need to focus on keeping the peace. Spirit is saying that someone needs to let go of the need to always be right. Some of you are dealing with the Virgo here. Someone's having a hard time growing within their current situation because they're resisting change. This person has their their shield up, they're guarded, they're unable to learn or to listen or to grow. Spirit is saying, choose your path. Cut the cords with anything that's negative, anything low vibrational, anything that's questionable, anything that you feel the energy is off with, any body, place, thing, whatever. Keep the peace within your own heart, your own self. And Spirit is saying, enjoy growth and reap rewards. So, this is not a debate of who's right and wrong. This is about energy and divine intervention. This is about spiritual growth, a spiritual journey. This is about doing the work. Instead of resisting change. To step into the highest elevation of self. Spirit is saying that you can have anything that it is that you want. Through manifestation. Spirit is telling me that the person that you're connected with. <clears throat> is having a hard time connecting with their emotions. And it could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Or this could be you. Put yourself where you fit. But Spirit is saying that connecting with your emotions is how you get to where you need to go.
then you got the high priestess on the motherfucking bottom of the deck, y'all. Listen. Angel number 1005. You are powerful. You embody a mystic, powerful presence. Anyone that tries to interfere with that, they have to be left in the cold. They have to. Because, see, you have sacred knowledge, you have wisdom, you have awareness, divine feminine energy. If you're a masculine, it don't matter, divine, divine energy. Spirit is saying, be fearless, be ambitious, be competitive, be brave, accomplish things. Expect big changes when it comes to your success and your happiness. Seize the moment, Pisces. And anybody that tries to come in between you and your connection with spirit, you remind them that the ball is in your court. And you go and you enjoy and reap your rewards. For all the seeds that you planted into the universe. All right. Those are the messages I have for you, Pisces. If you enjoyed this reading or if it resonates with you, hit the thumbs up button. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel for your future reads. Happy motherfucking new year. And I love you. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.